Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper, and in this video, guys, I'm going to show you um, my progress that I have going on for my perpetual motion uh, generator. Now, what I have in front of me right now is the PMG off of a turbine build that I'm currently in works on. This is my Freedom PMG from Missouri Wind and Solar that I've got in front of me right now, and I've got it sitting on a piece of Lexan that, as you can see, it is bulletproof. I shot this with a 22 long rifle. Um, so this material is perfect uh, for the stress that's going to be put up on it. Now this is my blade um, cut out to put my seven blades on for the turbine. But we're not going to be doing that now. What we're going to be doing, or at least for a permanent magnet generator, um, whether this one that goes on up on the pole for the wind power or for another one, I'm going to use the same type generator as it stands right now at the moment. And I'm going, I've took the blade uh, pattern and I've circled this off here. Now what I've done is I've drew a line straight through from each of those holes. So now we have 14 intersecting lines. Now what will happen is I'll drill this out for the cooling holes and of course drill that out for the bolt and the nut to go on and mount this to the plate. And what we'll do next is we'll drill this out and the magnets that I got coming from magnets for less, I'm going to screw those into place because they're pre-drilled and I'll put the link to them in the video description below, the ones that I've got sourced out and that I've got coming um, as it stands at the moment. And if that changes, I'll uh, let you know for sure in the next video if you don't want to get in too big a hurry ordering them. Uh, but I'm going to drill this out and then mount those magnets in place on this. And now this right here is a little bit thicker than the uh, metal plate, just, just by a little bit. Um, I would say it's going to be probably, yeah, maybe almost twice the thickness of this. But what I'm going to do is once that we drill this out is I'm going to uh, drop that down a little bit, um, recess that some so that the uh, washer the washer can go in place seated in that, and then that will drive that on down, and hopefully that will even that up on the shaft here so that it don't take up so much space on the shaft, and, uh, and it can get all the thread down on it. But that's where we're at at the moment. Now what will happen is once I'm done with this, I'm going to build the frame out of this Lexan as well. So what will happen is we'll have um, the framework will come up off the uh, permanent magnet motor here. And you'll have three magnets around the edges that will be at an angle pushing against the wheel. Or, you know, causing the magnetic force to push against the wheel. And if we're riding our theory and everything, that's how it's going to work. And we'll bolt this up to the frame. So this will be up off the frame just a little bit. Then we'll have our three magnets around it. And that's pushing this, and that's generating power. And then I'll show you how to do all the rest on a wiring board. But that's where we're at at the moment. And I'm just going to keep pressing forward on this. And uh, I'm making uh, duplicates of these uh, hubs because this project's not just for myself. I'm going to be passing on um, some prototypes of this to other people so that... Uh, this information, like many other people that's attempted this, this don't get lost in the wash, if you know what I mean. So until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.